got a lot of work in, uh, which is good. And, you know, I mean, all different phases. I mean, one of the things you do today is you're going through, you know, you have a checklist of all the different things you want to try to get done. Uh, might not fit into the specific times of the scrimmage or the flow of the scrimmage or like in a game as it would. Um, but, uh, you know, so I think we got a lot of the things we needed to get done. We'll get a great opportunity to evaluate some players and uh, let guys see how they're doing. You know, I think what, what guys, are, especially a lot of the younger players are going to see is they do some really good things sometimes. Uh, but for us to be successful, they got to do really good things all the time. You know, it can't be, hey, I made a big play and then missed a block the next play. You know, look at my great play, coach. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm concerned about did you grade and did you do it right every single time. You're kind of uh, at the midway point of spring. Your huh? thoughts so far of what you've been able to get done and what you hope to get done the, the remainder of time. Yeah, a lot. Same. We're just, you know, we're progressing along. You know, progressing along. I said, I want to get, want to, you know, spring's all about player development. You know, and getting a lot of guys different things. We're 0-0 at the end of spring, you know. and uh, I, I, I think our guys have a great attitude. I think they compete. I think they play hard. They give good effort. But I think they got to really learn uh, how to maximize themselves out here on the field. What did you think of Dontavian and Harris today? Uh, it was good. They ran the ball hard. You know, I mean, again, I want to watch, go look at some of the reads, make sure they're on. It looked like they are a little hesitant at times. Uh, you know, and they probably could have hit some things a little bit more full speed to check pass protection. Obviously, going to be critical for them. Uh, but I thought they ran the ball hard, which that's what we. Knew. I mean, I, I I already knew that would happen. And it's, it's the other things you got to make sure that they're ready for. And putting Nick in the, with the first team offense, what were you looking at him? Uh, oh, we just give him reps because you know, I mean, right now he'd be a snap away from being in the first team offense. So, uh, you know, want to give him an opportunity to go roll with that crew, um, and just see how he, how it went, how he performed. You know, I don't know. Boy, after the first couple of series, I don't know, we had the first team offense. Right? I mean, it was all kind of a bunch of hodgepodge, but that's sometimes what will happen in a game. How does the defense kind of grasp uh, the differences with who Coach D has being here now? Uh, I think they're getting it slowly but surely. You know, they're getting it. Uh, you know, you see some some definite improvements. You, know, you see other things that are, that are going to be maybe drastic differences from what we did before of them trusting. Um, trusting their job, trusting their teammates, trusting all the fits, you know, and not – Sitting there saying, oh, you know, boy, is he going to, you know, is the ball really going to get turned back to me the right way? Uh, and, you know, and you'll see some guys overrun some plays and give up some longer runs. We can't we can't do that, but that's just trust in the system and learning it all. Do you expect to get Damian Williams back before camp's over? I were hoping Tuesday he can do some things. You know, I think he was throwing the other day. You know, it's, it's kind of a peck, in, peck strains or weird injuries. So it's, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We, especially for a quarterback, you know, and throwing. But I'm hoping he'll be out, be able to do some things on Tuesday. It seemed to get a little physical out there. I know some of the defenders were kind of hitting Dak, too. Is that what you kind of like to see as a coach? Or yeah. Uh, not so much as a stack? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Dak can take it. He's a big boy. Um, no, I think, you know, uh, one, you, 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 if, if, trust me in this. If you see certain, the guys that are hitting Dak are probably okay to go touch him and all that stuff because they know what they're doing. You don't see a lot of the young guys that haven't played a whole lot out there, but you know, I mean, you, AJ and Ryan Brown and Chris Jones, they're not going to be afraid to get in Dak's face a little bit out there on the field. From a guy like Malik Gear, who should be in high school right now, what have you seen from him? It seems like he's kind of ahead of schedule, maybe. Well, one is, you know, the biggest thing for him is you see, he can do some things, but he's got to learn the system, learn how to play at the college level, and he's got to learn to do it consistently. It can't be a run a great play and then, you know, he has to come subbed out. I still think he's working. Got to, got to get it, get in a little bit better shape still, uh, you know, conditioning wise to get ready to play at this level. But I mean, it shows he. I mean, he's got the ability. We just got to get him to do it consistently. Returning the guys loose for the weekend, have they, do you think they've earned a, a little bit of break there? After they well, it's Easter weekend. A lot of guys want to go spend time with their families, and um, you know, and so I think that's important uh, to give them a break this weekend and go. It's a big family weekend to get them to spend time with their families. You're talking about Damian, do you expect Tevez to, to participate no. in the workouts? Okay. No, no, Tevez, Kendrick. I think there's somebody else. There's a couple of guys. Huh? Yeah. Who? Mark, Dez, Tevez, those guys are all out. They'll be Durania back summer. And uh, Durania, oh, Durania should be back full yeah. go on Monday. We kind of held him today, so he should be full go Monday. Uh, who else? Dedrick should be back on Monday, on Tuesday. You know, next week. Those we kind of we protected those guys so that they're going to be healthy next week. You know, instead of on the you know, I mean, on the edge, they didn't need to push through today. I'd rather get them healthy and for uh, for quality reps next week.